Welcome to my channel, Planning with Maserati and Scripture Writing by Honey. We are going to be doing day 14, which is July 14th, Ephesians 6, 10 through 17. So before we begin, I'd like to tell everybody welcome. Please subscribe, hit that post notification bell so you miss out on any new videos. Please give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment, and share the video. That'd be greatly appreciated. So it's a pretty big one. Um, I'm going to try to do as much as I can with you on here. And then, um, yeah, and then I'll show you the finish. You'll see it as my screenshot or whatever. So let's begin. So again, 10, Ephesians 6, 10 through 17. It's the armor of God. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the power of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on all, put on the full armor of God, so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. And after you're done, everything you, everything to stand. Stand firm, then, with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with the brace. Oh my God, I can't even speak today. With the breastplate of righteousness in place, and with your feet fitted with this, with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all this. Take up the shield of faith with which you can. I don't know why I'm reading like this today. <clears throat> Extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. I like that. We should take, you know. Put the full armor of God on every day. This world is a little bit, you know, evil. With everyone in, well, not everyone, because it's not everybody shooting each other. But the people in Chicago, I mean, I don't know what they're thinking when they pick up a gun. And, you know... There's, like, babies out there dying. And it's like they're at war, but there's no war. If that makes any sense. They're at war with each other. Like, come on, it's enough. So you just gotta pray for Chicago. Because it is really... It's crazy. So these poor people have to, you know... Poor babies are dying for nothing. If we don't have crooked, you know, politicians, which I don't like talking about that because, you know, people agree to disagree. Um, but yeah, so if we don't have a crooked politician, we, we have people out here shooting each other. Like, does that make any sense? So this world is evil. For some reason, I'm like writing what I want, adding words, taking away words. And that's exactly what it is the devil. The devil is doing this. <clears throat> so, how's everybody's scripture right now? I forgot to ask you. I am, I think, just two days behind now, because today's the 16th, yeah, so I'm only two days behind, and I am doing my best to catch up. It always happens in the middle of the month, I've noticed that, like, I fall off in the middle of the month. When I come home from work, I'm tired. Like, today, I have a nine-hour shift, 
but it wouldn't be bad if it was just the morning or the evening. It wouldn't be bad, like, if you're doing a nine-hour shift. What I think is bad, and I think they're crazy for doing this, is putting somebody from 11 in the afternoon to 8 or 9 o'clock at night. Like, that is your whole day. Like, you don't have the morning, okay, I'm going to go to work in the afternoon, like about 4. You don't have that. You have a crazy schedule. Like, to me, it takes up your afternoon and your evening. Again, I almost wrote the wrong thing. So I think that's crazy on them. There's two of us doing that today, and I feel like we don't have time to ourselves. Because when you wake up, and I pretty much wake up at 5, but today I snoozed the alarm so bad. So I ended up waking up at, what, 6.30. After waking up at 5, my alarm was going off. And then getting back up and then waking. Going back to bed and then waking up again. Man, am I talking crazy today? I think it's because I'm tired. For real. But yeah, so I just don't understand why you would put somebody like that. Wait a minute, what am I writing here? Against the power. In this dark world. And against the spiritual. I was about to write the line over again. See how tired I am. And our store is busy, so it's not like you can really get a good break in, like, just to rest a few minutes. No. Mm -mm. I'm just grateful I have a job. It's just my whole day there. It says, therefore, put on the full armor of God. So that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. I like that. Okay, so I'm going to pause the video real quick. Get more of the writing done because this is a big one. And then I'll come right back. Okay, so now I'm back, yeah. So I'm on verse 15 now, where it says, And with your feet, fit it with the readiness that comes from the gospel. Um, yeah, I had to stop the video for a minute, because my hand was, like, going numb, and it was getting hard to write. So that is why I stopped it and just kept going. I was still writing, though. It's just hard when you have, um neuropathy in your hands and that could be where the swollen is coming in at I don't know if I told you but I woke up today with my hands swollen again so all this. so that is why I paused the video Plus, it's, you know, a very long one. Well, not a very long one, but, you know. It's pretty decent size. And I didn't want you to be bored with me just talking crazy and then... You know, then you wouldn't be interested in watching, you know, scripture writing. In the comments below, um, 
When did you start script, uh, scripture writing? I always like to know that. Like, how did you start it? Like, did you watch a video? That's how I started by watching videos. I knew nothing about you know scripture writing. I knew there's scripture. I know there's a Bible, but putting it on paper, I didn't know anything about that. And I started watching. I was getting into my faith in the beginning. Um, and I was just watching videos of Planner Girls, and some of them had, you know, like the scripture writing. And I was like, that's pretty interesting because I love to write. And what better way to write is to write about the Lord. So I was like, that's pretty interesting. So when did you become, you know, starting scripture writing? Is it with videos that you found? Is it you already, you know, knew about it through church or whatever? Leave it in the comments below. I always like to know, like, how did people become, you know, like Bible journalers where they're journaling in their Bible. This is like the most I do in my Bible. Like, write a little bit, highlight, tab it out. I do want to do a Bible garden, so I probably will start that. Um, I have not started it yet. But, yeah. So, this is day 14, I think. Yeah, because I said I'm two days behind. Day 14 of the daily scripture writing. So, let's set up for tomorrow. We'll use this pretty little leafy. I have in the background, which is crazy because I have it on mute. I'm watching a. Well, not watching it. I was watching a planner video, but I just have it running. The only thing is. Oh, yeah, it does show. I have it on my um, fire stick. YouTube looks nice on TV. Like, it really does. If you don't want to pay for cable, because I think it's ridiculous. I only watch one TV show Chicago PD. So, if I can get it on my fire stick, you know, I'm all good. That's how easy, you know. I'm not a very, you know, picky person. When it comes to food, I am. Like, there's certain food I will not eat. But, like, just every day, no. I'm not picky. So, Ephesians 6, 10 through 17 is done for day 14. So Joshua 1.9 is for day 15, which you know that's an easy one. Um, verse 9, and then I'll just go in later and highlight the verses, like verse 14, 15, 16, and so on. So thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Hit that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Please give this video a big thumbs up. Leave a comment and share the video. That'd be greatly appreciated. Just check and see the time so I can get ready for work. So again, thank you for watching and I will talk to you in the next video. Have a good one. Bye-bye.